Well, here we are. We're back and I cleaned up a little. I had to uh, replace the plastic on the table because it was uh, so much paint flying all over the place. So um, the other one hasn't changed much and between the first video and this one there was only like 10 minutes. But I'll just leave it there and at the end of this video I'll show you uh, what happened to that one. So we'll leave it and get on with this one. So the experiment was number one, spinning, pouring, no torching. And now the second cup, which you saw me make, we're ready for it. And let's see if I'm on good mode, yes. Okay, so I'll pour it right down here in the middle. And then I will be tilting a little bit to let it go over the side. I put some paper uh, on here, so I'm hoping to do a quick cleanup after this one. Because I'm, I'll be putting on three videos today, because that's what people ask. Uh, this one, and this one, and I'm going to be doing a little bit bigger canvas with a cheap acrylic paint. Someone asked, you know, does it have to be that uh, studio quality or expert quality acrylics? And um, well, I like to keep my uh, paintings um, uh, with the Amsterdam series stuff because I just like the colors. But I'm going to be doing one with um, very cheap acrylics and I'll let it dry. I'll make pictures and I'll show you the difference. So, same cup, only one simple pour. I'll uh, keep it up a little so you can see it. Maybe I'll do the, uh, the flip cup. That's better. Because we do want all the paints on the canvas, right? So here we go. That's it. I don't want all the drips on there. Over the side nicely. That's going over the side, and this is going over the side, and there you have it. And what what I see is that there's not that much difference with the spinning one or the pouring and tilting. Uh, there's a lot less cleanup, that's for sure. But I'm going to um, do the sides, if I can find my pellet knife. I'll use another one. So just a little here because it didn't really get it all. And on this side. It's always the corners that you have to watch out for because the corners uh, usually uh, don't get all the paint. Hope I don't drop it. This would be something that would really happen to me. Yesterday I did two videos, really two, and I could not put them on YouTube because it was such a mess. I'm telling you. I got my hair caught up in the iPad and it was swaying all all kinds of uh, things happened and the pour I did was really terrible if you uh, really want to see it I could put it up but I'd rather not okay can you see it yes so let's put them together let me uh, make a little room like this get the other one. This is the other one. Nothing happened. And you know, I still have some paint left in this cup and in the other. I'm going to do the same now and then torch it. That's a good one. Because I have lots and lots of these little canvases and they don't cost that much. 
So now we have a, a new canvas, but I do have to scrape my paint together, which I will be doing now. So you, I could be doing this in, an, in another video, but I don't think this is too much of a nuisance that I put the paint in a cup, right? I have a lot of paint left. I need about one full cup, so I hope I have, have that. I'll show you. Right, yes. There's always so much left in these uh, plastic cups, and I really hate that. Okay, looking good. But I still see a lot of paint left in this one. Okay, the brown. I have a little brown left. The yellow, still have the yellow to go. Well, it might not be enough, but well, it's it's for experiment. So the only thing I want to show you is if I do the same and I torch it, it's going to be totally different. And I get a lot of questions about that. Why do you use the torch? Well, it activates the uh, silicone. Okay. And do another flip. Okay, got it here. But I'm gonna let it drip off a little bit because there's always a lot of paint left in those cups. So let's tilt it a bit. And that way. Okay, now we have something that looks pretty similar to the other two, but now we're going to get torch. And I think I'll have to fill it just a little bit. I don't want to fill it too much or I get those, uh, get a flamethrower. Now, just, you know, from this distance, it's about 10 inches. And it's already working. Let me get it up close. I want you to see how how that works. So, can you see the difference? There's so much cell, cells and lacing going on, but I do want it to go over the side just a little bit. I'd like to keep this dark spot though. So, let's get some, put that on here. That's good. This is really beautiful, the way it goes over the side, because there's a lot of cells and they're going popping all over the side. I know the canvas is a pretty cheap thing, but I can fix it, make it less uh, wobbly. It, it's warping a little bit, but that's okay, I can fix that. So 
still one corner to go. That's good. Okay. Just to torch the uh, the bits that I added. That's good. So, I'm gonna take uh, the iPad down now. I'm gonna take off my gloves and I'll give you close-ups of all three. Yes. I got it stuck on here. That's okay. Okay, uh, the first one. Where are you? Oh, here. So this is the one that was torched. See all the cells and lacing? It's beautiful. I like it. Then we have the one where I just poured on on the... Uh, that's just pouring. It, it's nice. It has something, you know. But I'm just, I'm just a cell person. I really need all the cells. And then we have the one on the spinning thing. I got a little reflection in there of the lamps. But that's the... Um, Let's see if I can get rid of it. Yeah. So this is the spinning table pour. I do like the really the big wave. I like that. That's pretty. That's something that's not in the uh, in that one. But most of all, I can't help it. I like this one because it's so. I don't know, all those cells you just, you know, look. I wish you could do a really good close-up, but it, then the thing goes all fuzzy. Nah, it's doing okay. Do you see these cells? Let's see, here. They are beautiful. And I really love these colors. They, uh, they just remind me of the sea, the beach. The clear water, the foam, shells, I don't know, I love it, <laughs> I can't help it. A little close up there, Let's see if I can get it to focus, yep. Wow, that's beautiful. Another uh, thing that I was going to mention, and I'll do that on another video too, but I'm going to be selling uh, my pieces. And the good thing is, you won't be paying shipping. Is that a cool deal or what? There's this website, and um, it, it's uh, for the whole of Europe. And um, you put your uh, work on there, and tell them what you want to um, earn. What, you, what, the, what the cost is of the canvas, then they put 30% on top of that, and that's normal because, well, they're sort of like a gallery. But then when you send your art, and it doesn't matter, all over the world, you get your reimbursement for the uh, postage, and they pay that out of those 30%. So I think that is one big cool deal, and I'm gonna be doing that. So as soon as I got that set up, I'll uh, put a link in my YouTube channel and show you and hopefully I'll sell something because apart from the big one, the, you know, the big double pour, apart from that one I sold, not for much, but it was to a friend, but apart from that one I have never sold a painting in my entire life. So it would be nice if just once or twice I would sell a painting. <laughs> Okay, so this was a uh, fun pouring Sunday, and I'll be putting these uh, up on YouTube. And I want to thank everyone that supports my channel, because um, just reading all the comments really makes me happy. And when I hear that someone has um, <coughs> learned something, or all of a sudden it works, then uh, I'm as happy as you are. So thank you all. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.